Humans are built for reasoning with shape and geometry. But at this point in time, computers aren't. What we are doing here at UCL is helping the computers catch up. 3D modeling involves recreating a virtual scene where you start with a blank canvas, bring in the objects, manipulate them, and assign textures to the objects. In current software, you specify all this information manually, and this is very tedious. Suppose you want to design a product or a building. You start by sketching on paper. But from there to making it to the real world, there is a long gap. At UCL, we have found a way to bridge the gap between geometry and functionality. The 3D world is complex, but to the computer, we explain it as a collection of boxes and how they relate to each other. We have created an algorithm that helps the computer to understand objects by doing three things. By simplifying objects, by understanding how the objects get in each other's way, and by understanding the relation between objects. What I mean by relation is, for example, how the laptop sits on the table and the table sits on the ground. Think about how we teach a child to draw a house. We start with a square, a few rectangles, and a triangle. So we teach him how to draw a complex object with a collection of simple shapes. Our software does this in the reverse. It breaks a complex scene into simple objects. For example, take this 2D image of a table. The software converts it into a collection of boxes. We can now reposition the table, manipulate it, in fact, redesign it. The software always tells you if all the engineering constraints are satisfied, Essentially, it tells us if the design is practical. Suppose you want to do furniture shopping for your home. You will start with a picture of the room. You can copy and paste furniture from different catalogs, move them around in real time, and get a feel of how things will look. You can then decide which furniture to buy. With the same algorithm, we could redevelop an area of the city from a laptop. We looked at redeveloping the area around Russell Square. We gave the computer all the constraints, and then the software came up with this fully functional design. The main benefit is that it makes the design process more efficient and cost effective. The architects and engineers no longer need to go back and forth between them with their designs or end up making compromises. Now, I've had the good fortune to collaborate with Neil over the past three to four years while I've been at Adobe. And we've worked on a variety of projects, most of which focus on how to use geometric analysis to produce more effective visualizations and representations of shapes that can help users understand, explore, and in some cases create interesting classes of 3D objects. This work can have a big impact on how people design new shapes. Maybe by giving users simple geometric representations to work with, we can make 3D object creation a simpler and more accessible task. And these are applications that are important not just for Adobe, but also for computer graphics as a whole. And that's why I think this work represents an important and exciting new contribution to the field. This is just the beginning. It's no longer about creating virtual scenes. It's about sketching, optimizing, and fabricating objects, real objects. This will revolutionize the design, manufacturing, and construction process. <laughs>